Welcome back to my achievement guide for Piku Niku on the Xbox One. In our last video, we defeated the giant robot of the valley, and we were asked to investigate missing water at the lake. Before we do, we are going to investigate a new section of El Banco that is opened up by our unexpected visitor. Head right and enter through the door. We are now inside the power plant. In the next three rooms, we are going to see wires running from a power source to the end of the room. We need to turn the pieces to make a connection in order to power the door and allow us to continue. Note that each piece rotates by 90 degrees whenever you kick the corresponding button. So if you accidentally kick the wrong button, you can kick it three more times to reset the pieces back to their intended position. The first room is pretty simple. Just kick the green button once to connect the circuit and kick the red button above the door to continue right. The next room is a little bit trickier. We need to rotate some of the sections around to let us get above the circuit to rotate the green piece. Start by kicking the blue button once to open passage to get above the circuit. Next, kick the orange button twice to open passage to the green button. Jump on top of the circuit at the blue junction and kick the green button once. Head back down below the circuit and kick the orange button twice to reopen passage back to the blue button. Jump back over the wall and kick the blue button three times to complete the circuit. Kick the red button above the door and continue right through to the next section. In this last section, start by kicking the white button three times. Kick the red button once to open passage to the green button. Jump above the circuit and kick the green button twice. Return to the red button and kick it three more times to complete the circuit and allow passage to the right side of the room. Kick the red button above the door and exit through the door on the far right. Continue left to talk to the rebels. Continue left up the stairs and immediately turn right and head up the stairs to the second floor. Enter through the hidden section of the wall to the right to collect the resistance trophy. Return and continue left and exit the bunker. Continue left and interact with the subway. Select the lake to quick travel to the lake. Continue right until you come to the dam. You'll be asked to find a key leading to the next mini game. This mini game is pretty easy and is based off an old arcade game called Dig Dug. As PQ, you have to dig through layers of soil to find the key. The key is always in the same position, so you won't have to be looking around for it. Start by heading down two paces and then right one pace. Continue down another four paces and right one more pace. Head down another five paces and head left three more paces to collect the key. When you return, head left and collect the Pick Duck trophy on the roof of the cabin.
Enter the cabin and once inside, kick the lever to descend into the mines. When you reach the bottom of the elevator, head left and kick down the breakable wall. Inside this section you will find another dancing bug. Once you discover your fourth dancing bug, continue right. And once the mines cave in, head up and to the right and follow the passage around to another breakable wall. Kick down the wall and kick the lever inside the room to open the door. Continue left through the hidden section in the ceiling and return to the resistance. Continue right through the mines. Jump on top of the detonator to blow up the next section of wall and continue right through the mines. Use the anchor swing to jump up to the ledge to the right and drop down and continue right past the three barrels of dynamite. You will drop down into a room with switches and orange barrels. Push the barrel on the higher ledge down and roll it onto the switch to the far left. You might find it easier to roll it up the hill. Stand on the switch on the far right to release the second barrel. You might notice that when you stand on this switch, the door above you also closes. We will need to use the second barrel to hold this door shut, but we also need to be standing on this door before it closes so as to let us enter the next room. To do this, we are going to roll the barrel up the incline to the left and allow it to roll down onto the switch to the right. Roll the barrel up the incline, pushing it so it's almost at the top, and immediately run back to the closing door so that you are standing on it when the barrel reaches the switch. The door should close, pushing you up into the next room. As you can see, the barrel can sometimes roll back off the switch, but if this happened, just do it again. I've only seen this happen once or twice across many, many playthroughs. Continue right and drop down to the crawl space with the springboard box. Kick the switch to the left to raise the springboard box up and push it to the right until it falls into the next hole. Kick the switch to the right to raise the springboard back up and push the springboard box back out into the opening to the right, jumping on it to reach up into the next room. Continue right through the ruins until you come to a mushroom. Bounce on it to reach the second level. Continue back to the left, jumping across the platforms as you go. I find this last jump can be a bit tricky, so it's better to push the clouds off the ledge before making the jump. Once you've finished talking to the worm, continue left and jump on top of the detonator. Jump back down to the resistance, and once you're on the elevator, you will descend into the lower mines. Continue right and drop down into the next room. Interact with the pipe in the floor to move through into the next room, where you will find six coins to collect. Interact with the pipe in the middle of the room and collect the detonator in the room you come out into. Detonator. Head back through the two pipes to return to the resistance. Jump on top of the dynamite barrel and use it to reach the ledge. Interact with the box and jump on the detonator to blow up the next wall. 
Continue right and jump up onto the short ledge to move through a hidden crawl space into the next room. Make sure you do not open the door yet. We need the passage directly above us to remain open. Head up to the left and up through the moving platforms. Kick down the breakable wall to the top right and kick the lever. Head down the platforms and jump across to the new section, collecting the coin. Kick down the breakable wall and a group of orange barrels will roll out. They should roll down into the bottom area of the room with at least one pressing down the switch that opens the second door below us. Make sure a barrel presses down on this switch as sometimes they can get stuck. Kick the original lever to open the second door and return back to the resistance. Continue right, collecting the two coins. Continue up the stairs, kicking down the bridge as you go. Jump up and swing across to the room to your right, ascending through the moving platforms. As soon as you drop down, head left into a hidden section. Kick one of the skulls out and onto the first switch. The next part of this room involves moving some barrels around to hold down two more switches. However, there is a pretty easy skip that bypasses it, and there's nothing else we need above us, so we're just going to use the skip. Drop down to the right. Head left, collecting the coin, and stand on the switch at the bottom of the incline. You'll notice that the door opens to the resistance, but they're just standing still. We need them to move through the door. Push right. The position of the incline will prevent you from actually moving off the switch, but the resistance will walk through the door. We still need to hold this switch down to let us through the next door, so we're going to trick one of the resistance members into helping us. Get on the right side of the resistance and push against them. You should be able to collectively push them together and to the left. Once the far left resistance member is on the red switch and you have pushed them all as far as they will go, you should be able to roll back up the hill and through the door before they get off the switch. For this run they gave me a bit of trouble, you'll see I had to kick one of them down so that they were not stacked on top of each other. In many runs, this was ironically the only time I've ever had trouble with them. Continue right, jumping on the detonator to blow up the next wall. Continue right, collecting the two coins as you go. You will eventually fall down into the worm's home. After a short wait, the rebels will join you. Mother Worm will appear and ask you to find her son, Ernie. Continue left. When you reach the room with the pipe, jump into the hidden section to the left and talk to the worm. They will give you a video game, which we need for another achievement. Head through the pipe. And when you get out of the pipe, kick down the breakable wall to the left to pick up the worm's trophy. Continue right through the mines until you drop down into the next room. Swing up to the left into a room where you will find Ernie. Head to the left and talk to Ernie. He will have trouble moving, so you're going to have to kick him back to his mother. Push Ernie to the right. You might need to kick him through the gap if he gets stuck. Once Ernie is in the right corner, use the anchor swing to swing up to the left. Stand on the switch and Ernie will be pushed into the next room. 
collect the coin to your left. If you are following this guide, this will be your 70th coin, which unlocks the Croesus achievement. Use the swing anchor to swing out to the right. Push Ernie to the right and jump up into the hidden room above the dynamite. Jump onto the detonator to go up the next wall. Continue pushing Ernie right until he drops down onto the gray floor. Jump on top of Ernie and jump up into the next hidden room. The floor will close, leading you to your next puzzle. In this section, we have two switches that control various sections of the room. We need to open and close sections to move Ernie across to the elevator to the far right. I'm going to give you the solution, but be warned that Ernie can sometimes get stuck. If this happens, you might have to open and close adjoining sections to free him, and you're also relying on Ernie being in the right place. So if you take too long, be warned that Ernie can sometimes roll out of the position he's in and void this solution. If it gives you any trouble, you can always exit and return. The puzzle will reset. Start by hitting the switch to the right to let Ernie drop down to the ground. Hit the switch to the left and Ernie should be raised back up. Hit the switch to the right and Ernie should be pushed to the left section of the room. Hit the right switch again to raise Ernie up to the second piece. Hit the left switch and Ernie should be shot across to the right side of the room. Hit the right switch to move the section above Ernie out of the way. And hit the left switch again to push Ernie up towards the switches to the right. Finally, hit the right switch to push Ernie into the switches on the right side of the screen. Jump out of the room to the right and drop down to Ernie. Kick the switch to your right and you and Ernie will be raised up to the final section of the mines. Roll Ernie to the left until he rests inside the curved hole. At this point we are supposed to go all the way around a large section of this room to reach the switch just above us. However, we can also get there a lot quicker by using the fan. We are going to ride the edge of the fan around pushing right to come out into the top section. As long as you hit the edge of the fan blade, it should be a piece of cake. Stand on the switch to push Ernie into the fan. It might take one or two tries to get him to catch. Once the fan pushes Ernie to the left, continue pushing Ernie through the mines until you reach the elevator. Jump on Ernie to reach the ledge to the right and follow the passage all the way around to the top room. Hit the switch to bring the elevator up to your level. Drop down and jump on Ernie to reach the lever at the top of the elevator shaft. Kick the lever to open the door and Ernie should return to his mother. Return to the worms and continue left to talk to the rebels. Jump up to the minecart to the left and interact with it to return to the surface. Kick down the breakable wall and continue left to the entrance, collecting the only trophy just to the left. Kick the lever to return to the lake. And exit the cabin. Head left. We have one more achievement we need to unlock before we defeat the giant robot of the lake. So interact with the subway and return to the forest. Exit the subway into the forest town. and head right. Use the branch to jump up the next tree and enter the house with the video game character sign. Interact with the game console to play a game of bouncing eggs. This game is as simple as it gets. An egg will fall from the top of the screen and you need to bounce it on your head. What isn't so simple is the achievement. To unlock the stubborn achievement, you need to bounce the egg 999 times without dropping it. Don't be disheartened. 
There is a trick to doing this achievement, and while it can still take a bit of time, it's not anywhere near as difficult as it sounds. Put simply, we are going to be aiming for a specific position where the ball will continuously bounce between our character's head and the wall without any further input. For this to happen, our player needs to be standing right under the corner of the scoreboard. That is, our player's face should line up with the score. We also want the ball colliding with us so that the pixels on the corner of the ball and our character's face roughly line up. This should ensure a consistent angle back to the wall and allow us to easily reach 999. You might have to bounce the egg a few times before it falls into the right position, but I'm not employing any tricks in how I hit it against the wall. I find that it always quickly comes back to the positions I want. Note that if the egg drops, or if you otherwise know that the current attempt is going to fail, it is quicker to exit and restart the minigame than to wait and let it restart for itself. I've sped up most of my run, as I don't think you want to be spending an hour watching me bounce an egg. I have a timer running on the bottom left, so you can see how long this has took me. Note that you can have some false starts. The ball can sometimes change its trajectory over a large number of hits, so I had it suddenly shoot down and fall twice at around 300. Just get it into the position as I have and keep an eye on it. If it falls, try again. If you reach around 500, you should be fine. Once you hit 999, a sound will play, and you will unlock the stubborn achievement. I have seen the odd report that it did not unlock straight away. Do not exit the game until it unlocks. One report has the user having to score 999 all over again, and while this does sound harrowing, if this should happen to you, just let your original score all over and collect the 999 straight after that. Once you have unlocked the stubborn achievement, head back to the subway and return to the lakes. Head right. And talk to the worms at the foot of the dam to enter the boss fight with the giant robot of the lake. For this boss fight, the robot is going to be shooting water at you while you jump between metal girders to dodge the attacks. If you get hit or fall off, you will have to try again. The robot has two types of attack. The first attack is a series of water bursts. The robot will shoot these across all of the girders, but they can easily be jumped over or avoided. The second attack is a constant jet of water. This one is a bit harder to avoid once it attacks, so just try to avoid the girder the robot is currently aiming at. Once the water in the robot's cheeks have depleted, it will have to fill up. The worms will fly the girders over to the dam. Make sure that you don't fall off. Jump into the dam and swim underneath the giant robot. Swim up into the straw to damage it. Do this three times to defeat it. I find it easiest to stand in the middle of the girders so that when the robot is shooting at me, I can easily jump between them. Jump between them as it aims at you, and make sure you are not on the girder it is aiming at when the aiming line disappears. This way you can avoid all jet streams and avoid most of the water bursts. You'll notice that Piku does a little walk animation as the girders float across. You might want to return to the middle of the girder as soon as the robot flies off to the dam, just to avoid falling off the girders as they fly across the screen. I have also found that the robot does not always suck PQ up straight away when it's refilling water. If this does happen, swim back down and it should trigger as you float back up to the straw. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once you defeat the giant robot of the lake, Mr. Sunshine will come along and capture you. This will take you to the last section of the game, which I'm going to cover in the next walkthrough video.